What's up guys? We got some interesting news in Raid. We got another new item set and it's kind of interesting because let me pull it up. So the new item set that we're getting, uh, let me adjust myself a little bit. It's basically intended to of course be a set for supports and as you can see if you have it at 9 piece you're gonna get Basically 3 PC speed sets, maybe like 4% less speed, but you're getting 10%, 10%, and 12% speed from 9 P set or 8 P set. And then you're also getting accuracy and intercept stacks, which is very interesting. And this is going to be a kind of, you know, new thing that do you want to use this on your lockouts and supports or not? Is it going to be better than Feral? Is it better than going 5 piece protection and 2 P speed? and get, getting the maximum speed possible or do you still want to go with stone skin now we have a lot of choices and stuff to think about and i think this is a little bit confusing for everybody i'm kind of surprised that we got both feral set and this set i guess it's called pinpoint set we we got both of them pretty much at the same time and they're kind of intended for the same role maybe not um super obvious for everybody but i think that that's what most people are thinking so what the intercept stacks do is that you can't get cc if you have them and they're basically gonna block one cc per stack so if you start the battle with intercept stack that means for instance on your debuffer like let's say your i don't know krixia or galatir or armands or whoever when they do cc they can get polymorphed and that sounds super OP. <laughs> now compared to the Feral set, which has 50% chance to not get polymorphed, you're not gonna get polymorphed with this set if you have stacks, like it's guaranteed that it's just gonna bo block the polymorph and you're not gonna get polymorphed. And you can get a good amount of speed with the 8 piece set or 9 piece set. The thing is of course that you need to weigh these options that do you want to be faster with 5 piece protection and 2 piece speed sets or 2 2 piece speed sets that's technically gonna have like higher potential to be faster and i think another issue that kind of arises here I, I i don't think we really know how this plays out we need to see it a bit more in practice but like i saw many people already hyping this set that <laughs> feral is already dead this is the new set that you want to put on your supports and i'm sure both are gonna be used, I think we'll figure it out. Uh, I, I feel like this might be more popular than Feral set, but you never know how it plays out. But one thing with this set though is that um, it can just get, you know, like first of all you can just get spammed with debuffs and so on, but this one can get stolen. You, you, you can buff strip this and you can, um, you can steal this, so I don't know how that's gonna play, play out in in practice, if enemy Wukong steals your intercept stacks or stuff like that, that's one glaring thing that comes into my mind. But it's not its not instantly obvious. Often when we get these new updates and people are not quite sure about it, and it, it turns out to be... <laughs> it turns out to be differently than th they expected. Like, one of my favorite examples is when we got Eilil, if you remember him still wears Eilil. So people were super hyped that we are getting another Nougar that can kill through stone skin and he's also kind of tanky. <laughs> and what ended up happening with Eilil that he was never used as Nougar either in arena meta but he was actually used as super champion <laughs> in bomb teams because of his A1 which doesn't require any accuracy and you could steal stone skin um, from um, resistance mitralas or immunity from resistance mitralas so that uh, like you know they can get so high resistance when they scale with both accuracy and resistance that no champion can really debuff a mitrala if you <laughs> if you really put your mind onto it at least in those days now we got the mythic champions that ignore resistance and so on but Alil could easily do it and you would remove the immunity from Mitrala and then Mitrala can't cleanse the bombs 
and that's how you can farm those teams and it actually used to be super meta at one point but i remember when alil was announced everybody or not everybody but you know in the top arena scene people were super hyped about him and basically everybody pulled the voids for him <laughs> He was a guaranteed, he, this is by the way a funny story, he was a guaranteed void event and the fact that there was gonna be guaranteed event for him was leaked maybe like two months like too early or something like that and then they postponed it because of the leaks and people thought that they actually cancelled the events because of the leaks but then they eventually did do the event. But yeah as far as you know the pinpoint set I think we almost have too too many of these types of sets, you know. There's already like perception, speed, uh, protection, supersonic, feral. Um, am I forgetting something? And and often you just want to put your supports in like maybe four piece stone skin or six piece to get the immunity. There's kind of a lot of competition. Like I feel like um, I like the idea, but I think they. They could have implemented this set in a different way. I, I feel like there's, you know, too much overlap. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe you guys have some differing opinions. <laughs> I don't really have a lot of Feral y set yet, of course. But I guess you get a lot more accuracy on Feral. The one thing that I hate, though, is that you have like 50% chance to get or not get Polymorph. I hate these kind of Avranchi elements. I hate when Helm Smasher is 50%. I think it would be much better design if it was 100% chance and the defense reduction or mitigation was halved, or maybe even a little bit less than half. Like since Helm Smasher is 25% defense ignore at 50% chance, if it was 10% defense ignore at 100% chance. I would prefer it. I think that would be better, but <laughs> Raid loves their Adran you know, it's a gacha game. It is what it is, and I guess people are into it, and Raid is into it, and they like to do these kind of things, but as you know, PvP player and competitive-minded player, I don't like to leave, <laughs> leave things up, up to chance. <laughs> I say that while relying on Polymorph in every fight, but you know, that's... That's the only thing that I can often do. I prefer things that are guaranteed and if you counter something then you counter it. That's kind of the thing that I hate about Feral Asset. But if I had to guess, I think it probably makes more sense that let's say that you have like Galatir and you really just want to get the um, lockout at the start of the battle. Maybe you want to put him in Intercept but one thing with Intercept though is that even though you know it's basically guaranteed that you, you get your ability true, that it's, it blocks a, like um, one polymorph or debuff from you, or depending on the number of stacks. But let's say that you build him in maybe 4P spin point and 5P supersonic, that could be kind of interesting because you would kind of try to be as fast as possible, you would still be slower than people with two. 2p speed sets and perception uh, uh, and protection but you will still be very fast and I guess faster than having 3 speed sets so that might be the happy medium but the issue with that is that even though you do get the intercept you only get one intercept stack at that point and when Galatir first does his buff strip and then lockout debuff on each enemy there's a like good possibility that he he might even get polymorphed more than one time so i don't know if four piece um bonus on this set is enough but you know if you have a fast tc champion in let's say four piece stone skin which is also very popular it's gonna block everything else but it doesn't block, block polymorph and this will do it but i think probably on those champions for consistency you probably have to go with at least 6 piece pinpoint to get 2 perception stacks or maybe even go all the way to 9 piece because I think it will still be kind of inconsistent and you can often get polymorphed <laughs> despite, despite the stacks because you're gonna run out of them and 
each instance of debuff that you take is gonna uh, remove it. But this remains to be seen. I guess, you know, we'll see what happens. And the good thing about this is that you can kind of well, uh, like, mix mash most of these sets. Like on this one, for instance, just a two piece set bonus, it gives you 20% accuracy and 10% speed. That's kind of good too. You could totally use that. Or let's say that you don't have like pinpoint items. Maybe you could have like six piece, some other set, and three piece pinpoint. And then that would be kind of good and add stats. But I'm not really thinking about this, like, you know, just maximizing the possible like maximum stats that you can get on your characters i don't think that's super relevant for pvp and as far as pvp meta goes there's another thing that is kind of you know getting in the way to this like i saw many people saying that it's gonna be the buff strip make meta again and people are gonna start to use them like back in like two years ago everybody would have used either uh, Ramon to My Dama series or Kaimar in their offense teams <laughs> before Polymorph. But the thing is that people are already doing this and it happened a while ago and the culprit for that is Legate Deox. This champion went a little bit under the radar for some people. Oh fuck. <laughs> some people that are not super heavily like in specifically in Pla Platinum Arena, not Live Arena. In in live arena, you don't really see him because it's kind of hard to pull a full faction team, which you basically need to do for this champion. But in classic arena, <laughs> as you can see, the three faction ally bonus is all allies are immune to sheep debuffs. And he's in the same faction as Ramantu. So people are running like a team with Lazarus, Kim, Ramantu and Sulfurion. And I, I guess you could do other stuff, but I think the main thing is that you really want to have the Ramando there and, you know, make the best possible team that you, you, you can with that. I'm sure if there are some new good champions in in um, Lizardmen at some point, like Sulfurion could be replaced, I'm sure, and so on. But um, the main point is that you can get Polymorph, Teox does good damage and you can spam the Ramando, Ramando buff strip. And you can already do it this way, like, you don't need pinpoint to do it, and this is much more consistent. That's kind of, you know, deterring this set from, you know, <laughs> becoming, like, um, super unique and great. And another thing is that I'm kind of expecting that we will probably still see more and more mechanics that counter polymorph. This is the way Plarium always does things. We have seen multiple of them recently. And I'm sure we're gonna see them like from this point on to like to the end there's always every now and then gonna be a new champion or mechanic that does something like that. And I'm sure there is gonna be better mechanics that do it eventually. I mean it's kind of hard to top uh, Teox passive of course but maybe some individual champion that <laughs> I don't know reflects polymorph or whatever can be polymorphed and does like bash trip or something like that i'm sure they might do something like something akin those lines at some point so i wouldn't um there's always going to be better champions let's put it that, that way plarium doesn't want the best champions right now to be the best champions in two years <laughs> they want people to buy shards let's just be honest so take that for what it's worth but yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to say about the <laughs> pinpoint set. It's kind of interesting. I don't really know what am I, I gonna do with it on my own account. Like, you know, I'm not super fast, but this is another speed set. Maybe you get lucky on this one. My Armand is already in 4P stone skin. It doesn't proc polymorph. Um, it doesn't protect from polymorph, of course, but just from other CC. It is totally possible, of course, to pair this set with that. I mean, you could go 5P Spin Point and 4P uh, Stone Skin. I guess that could be kind of interesting, you know. You could, you would not get damage at the start. And also, even after the Stone Skin ends, or 
during the stone skin when you use your own abilities, you will proc one polymorph. So maybe that would actually that actually sounds kind of cute now that I think about it. But yeah, the options are endless. I think this is basically going to be a set for CC champions. <laughs> if you didn't get that point at like at, at this long after the video, but it's definitely going to be a set for CC champions. If it had nuke stats, you know, maybe you could consider it on nukers, but I think you rather want to have a stone skin on nukers than, than perception. I mean, than interception. Unless it's some something like godly OP like Taras that cannot be one shots. But yeah, it, this kind of set does make <laughs> does make sense for supports. The thing is that. There's already multiple other alternatives. I mean, Stone Skin kind of does it too. It just doesn't protect Polymorph and then we got the Feral, so... We have a lot of things going on. And we even have the Super Sonic set, you know, that uh, you will have a steady supply of, which kind of like protection is probably gonna be your fastest set over time eventually, since you can put both of them as 5Ps and you can consistently farm both of them, so probably you will like combine those sets with this one. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let's not make it any longer. I kind of wanted to bring up some discussion about the set. If I miss something, maybe you have much better ideas than I do, then let me know. But I'm definitely one of those types that I kind of want to see where the cards um, fall. And often in practice and in live, things don't play up, play up exactly like people were expecting. Sometimes they do, sometimes something completely different happens, so we'll know when we know. But that's it for this video, have a nice day, have a good weekend and see ya.